Hey guys, it's Liz, and today I decided to film an empties video. So I have quite a few things that I have used up over the past couple months, I guess, and I haven't done an empties video in such a long time. I think it's been maybe like a year or close to it. I know I've done one before ages ago, like such a long time ago. So I had this little bag, nice little Christmas bag. Um, of stuff that I've used up so I thought I would just go through and show you guys my trash and give you guys quick little reviews on each thing and tell you what I will and will not be repurchasing. Starting out I have this organic shampoo and this is the Sculpt Therapy Australian Tea Tree shampoo and I love this so much. I have really sensitive skin and I have a really sensitive scalp and so sometimes certain shampoos and conditioners will really like upset my scalp and it'll just get really like sore and so I um, kind of like googled like good shampoos for sensitive scalps and this popped up and I went and got it and the only place that I have been able to find this is Bed Bath & Beyond. Yeah, but not Bath & Body Works, Bed Bath & Beyond. I always get those two mixed up. I have not found it at Target, I have not found it at drugstores, that is the only place I have found. I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this because my scalp was so happy and my hair was so healthy when I was using this. And it's like relatively inexpensive as far as like shampoos go, so. This was awesome, plus it smelled really good. Next I have a chapstick, and this is actually an EOS lip balm, and this is gone. Like, you can tell like two of the things have like fallen in. Like there's like a little bit left, but every single time I use it, it just kind of like falls through these little cracks. It is like completely dead, it's like completely flat, and I'm so proud of myself for using up a whole EOS lip balm. I think it's taken me like a year and a half to use this whole thing up, or close to that, I don't know. But yeah, I'm so proud of myself. This is like the passion fruit one, I think, is this scent, or scent, flavor, scent, both. It's passion fruit, I guess. And yeah, I just, this is such an accomplishment. Next, I have a nail polish, and this one isn't completely empty, but it's like, you can't use it anymore. It's gotten too goopy. This is the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Anti Chip Top Coat. And I love this because it makes my nail polish dry so quickly. Like, no matter what nail polish I use, it dries in, like, five minutes tops to, like, rock solid. And it just makes my nails last really long. I just painted my nails last night, and I have a new bottle of it. So I just, I don't use any other top coat because I hate waiting for my nails to dry. I always mess them up, so I need them to dry really fast. And this does the trick. So this is awesome, and I've already repurchased it. So if you're looking for a good top coat that will dry it really really fast definitely get this one and it's like four dollars or something like that maybe six dollars it's inexpensive and it lasts a really long time all right I have a couple moisturizers next first I have the Aveeno positively radiant daily moisturizer with sunscreen SPF 30 and this is like clinically proven to even tone and texture I don't think that did that for my skin but also I'm like 17 years old so my skin isn't like uneven or anything you know like drastically like it doesn't have sun damage or anything um I don't know I like this but I feel like it never really moisturized my skin all the way like I feel like my skin was still like thirsty still wanting more moisture after I used this the one good thing was that it did have SPF the moisturizer that I use now for my face doesn't and I've been like worried about that especially since it's summer so I really do need to find one with an SPF but I'm not gonna buy this one again because like it's kind of on the like more expensive side as far as like drugstore moisturizers I think at least I'm pretty sure it is like over ten dollars which is like expensive for me as far as like drugstore moisturizers and the other face moisturizer I have is the replenishing rich moisturizer by simple um, skincare I guess it's just called simple um, I really really like this only downside no SPF and I went to buy this again at Target because I was like completely out also I think this was in my last favorites video I really like this um, I went to go buy it at Target and they were out of it. And so instead I got the little um, cream, like it's in a little jar and it's a cream. I like that, but I think I like this one more. So as soon as I use that one up, I'm going to go to this. Next I have this little Evian, uh, like one of the facial sprays that's like, it sprays water or whatever. Um, I got this like two years ago, I guess, or was it just last summer? I think it was last summer actually. Or the summer before that, I don't know, I went to, I flew to Florida, and so I was like all excited, actually I'm pretty sure I used to have, I don't think the videos are still up, but I definitely like film videos all about like flying on your own, and like what to pack when you're flying, and like I was so happy, I like went to Sephora to get this specifically, 
so that I could be like, when you're on the plane, make sure you spray this on your face so that your hair, your, so your face doesn't get dehydrated. And I was like so happy about it because like everyone on YouTube like talked about this like for like airplane beauty essentials. Anyway, um, like here I am like a year and a half, two years later, and I finally used it up. Um, this was nice just to use whenever my foundation or powder was just too heavy or kind of looked like blech. You just spray this on and it gives you a really nice dewy look. Um, it's definitely very refreshing. Now when I feel like I need a dewier look or to like refresh my foundation, I just use the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. It's like $6. It doesn't really like set my makeup necessarily, but it does like kind of make it look more nice. But really all you can do, like basically the same thing is just to get a squirt bottle, fill it up with water and spray your face. So I don't recommend buying this. It's kind of like silly. I guess it's convenient though and it looks cute and it seems kind of fancy, but I'm not going to buy it again. Next I have this little e.l.f. Uh, wet gloss. It's like uh, the clear mascara and brow gel. I've already repurchased. I already have another one in my makeup drawer. And this is just great for setting your eyebrows or just using it as mascara. So if you go to school where you're not allowed to wear makeup, you can always wear clear mascara and it will keep your lashes curled and make them look a little more noticeable, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I have another lip balm and this is the Sally Hansen Vita E Lip Soother and these came out forever ago. I remember we got an Ulta here like three or four years ago and I got an Ulta gift card and I was so happy and I bought this because I saw an ad for it in a Seventeen magazine and I finally used up the whole thing. It's just a little like nub now. I love the smell of this. It smells like vanilla and I love that it was yellow because it always threw people off. They're like, why is this yellow? Like, why are you putting yellow, like, lipstick on? I really want to buy this again. It makes my lips really, really smooth, and I just love the smell of it. It's such a nostalgic smell. Like, I smell it, and I think of that summer that I bought this, and, like, I think of the summer. I think it was, like, the summer before freshman year. I just think of the summer before freshman year, and it's nice. This lip, this chapstick has been through a lot. It's been through lots of pencil pouches and purses. Okay, the last things I have are two powders. First, I have the Rimmel Stay Matte, and this powder was really, really popular. I think last summer, it was super popular. Like, everyone loved the Rimmel Stay Matte powder, so I went out and got it, and I think this is actually my second one. I went through another one, and then I bought it again. Um, I don't remember it being that amazing. Also, I don't have oily skin, but obviously since I went through two of them, um, I must have liked And then lastly, I have my MAC Studio Fix powder, and... I love this powder so much. I just, oh my gosh, do you see how like sad this is? Sorry for the mirror. Um, this actually cracked. I was like almost done with it and then it cracked. And so I ended up putting it back. Like I fixed it with like um, rubbing alcohol. You can fix it. And then I kept using it and there's like nothing left. But this powder, I think if I ever like, I think this summer once I'm working again, I might go buy it again because this powder is amazing. I can just wear this powder. It covers up all of my redness, evens out my skin tone, and just makes me look so, so nice. So I definitely, like, as soon as I saw this in my little bag, I was like, oh, I miss this powder. I was like, I miss using this. This is such a good powder. All right, guys, so that is it for my empties video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and kind of looking through my trash. Let me know if you want me to keep this little bag and fill it up with more empties so I can show you my trash again once I use up more stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!